Suzu here again from Sue's Dog World, my garden stand. I'm really excited because it's like 19 degrees outside, really warm, and I had to open the doors on the polytunnel. Oh my god, it was sweltering in here when I came in here. It must have been over, well, whatever it is in Fahrenheit. I always get it wrong, you know. Really, 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 really hot. Anyway. I had to open the doors and it's cooled down a hell of a lot now, it's much, much, much better. So I'm just going to give it a quick water. Um, the sun is now, oh we've got loads of flying insects in the polytunnel, that's great. Anyway, the sun is just above us right now, so it's not too hot in the polytunnel now, so I think if I water it now it'll be alright. Um, I've got to do it now because I'm going to go and do some streaming in the car park. I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for. It depends how hot it gets. But um, yeah, I'm... oh, there's so many hoverflies in my polytunnel. Oh, this is great. It's because I put all these mizuna in here. Well, that's because I let them all go to seed, actually, I think. I've got my sun hat, which is Simon's hat. I don't like my sun hat because it's too floppy. It's really stupid, so I prefer his hat to mine. <laughs> so I'm always using his hat, his summer hat. He is still laid up in bed. His feet are getting a lot better. He's, he he uh, managed to crawl downstairs yesterday because uh, Carol and Simon came. Thank you for coming yesterday. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Uh, we'll, oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for coming. It was really lovely to see you. And see you again very, 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 very soon. Okay. Um, the irises are coming out in the polytunnel. I've got to show you this. This is really exciting. Oh my God, everything is looking great in here. Anyway, let polytunnel me Polytunnel thoroughly for like the last 15 minutes or so. And I've gone round it twice. Uh, then again, probably three or four times I've gone round it. So it should be watered well now. So we will keep an eye on it. All these things here have um, been watered loads. Um, if they start drying out again uh, by this afternoon, this afternoon, I will water them again because we do not want to lose our sweet peas that we painstakingly grew and potted on. So I think they're quite pot bound now, these things. So, you know, their roots are like in the whole of this pot. So we need to get them in the ground as soon as possible, really. So we need to make that a priority job. But I also think putting in the brassicas is priority. But we do, might not need to do that at the moment. Um, because, oh, now this flower is knocked over. Right. Um, yeah, it might be very warm around the other side, actually. Ooh. And the temperature is going to go down by next week. <clears throat> so let's not get too excited about it being summertime right now because it will not last. It never does. So we will not, like, get too excited. Um, yeah, I've washed out my other net. I need to bring it out to dry. But we're going to be putting it on the brassicas over the other side. Simon's going, when, once he's all right, what I need him to do, not these nets, but, but see these metal hoops here. But then he's got to make like these, um, I don't know how he's going to do that because these ones are sort of built onto the wood there. What's that moaning? Oh no, sheepy's moaning. I need to go and see what's going on. Sounds very distressed. I need to go and look. I need to keep an eye on the sheep. She sounds very distressed. I need to go and have a look what's happening with the sheep. She seems really distressed. Right, I'm going to go on sheep watch and I'll meet you around the other side because we're actually going to go and do some strimming. So we'll see you around the other side yet. I was putting some more string on here, on the pea structure for the peas. So I've done that now and I've put a load of the plants outside because we had all the lupins and everything on here and the cosmos so I thought you know we need to get them hardening off I know the temperature is going to fluctuate uh, but we need to start putting all the stuff outside so that's what I've done so I've just put them down here so that's the cosmos and the lupins 
so there we are we're going to have to let them harden off and then we can put them in the other garden I need to empty that bucket and that bucket oh anyway let's go and see how hot it is around the other side because it is quite like a desert area it's like freezing in the winter but baking hot in the summer around there because it's so open and you haven't got any tree shade really when you're working outside whereas there's a lot of shade around here so if it's too hot around there I will come back here because I need to sort out I just noticed um, that bed over there with the fruit in it I, I just need to tidy it up and go and get the other um, arch thing and uh, move it into there because those hoops Simon's going to take them out because I don't really need those in there I can't sew any brassicas in there or anything so we might as well, um, oh, I could cover up the fruit though, I suppose. Oh no, I'm just going to leave it. I'll, I'll probably just throw a little cloth over it or something. Um, I'm not going to worry about things so much because otherwise we're never going to get anywhere with the garden. Or we can just use blue hoops around the other side, we'll see. Or we could take these three hoops here off of this bed, maybe. I don't know, I'll see. I don't know. I've got some more blue hoops so maybe I could just use that but yeah them ones are a bit wasted but then the only reason why I'd ever cover them up is when the fruit is set in and we don't want the birds to steal it so that might be the only reason why we put anything over them but I don't know it might be a waste of them lovely metal hoops that we bought especially for doing my no dig um, garden with uh, you know but I don't know how you're going to get them in over the other side. Anyway, there's just enough questions, so let's just go around there and see if it's possible to do any strimming. But if it's too hot, I will not be doing it. I'm not stupid. So I will come back around here and find something else to do in the shade. Uh, so Because it is actually really warm in the shade, so I reckon it's really, really hot in the sun. So let's go round and see we've got our glasses here i need to clean my car there because i need to take it out and i need to hoover that car but i need to take my car out because i'm going to have to use it to go to town tomorrow because i need to get some chicken food because we're sort of on the last legs of the chicken food now we've only got a little bit left i've got enough for tomorrow but i need to go and get the chicken food and some dog food i gave him steak today because I didn't have any. Oh, there's a little mouse just ran under there. Oh. Yeah, I don't mind mice outside. Little uh, field mice, but I definitely don't like rats inside the polytunnel. I mean, it's not in the polytunnel, inside the stables. Anyway, I put rat, rat poison down yesterday. It's a different one, but they didn't eat it. So I'm not sure if it was just the one rat that I've already uh, died that it died and I um, disposed of it yesterday. I found it in the chicken house. Um, anyway, it was quite a young rat. It wasn't a very old one. You don't need many rats though to cause a problem. We've got a lot of wasps. We've actually got wasps, bees, something. We don't want wasps in the, poly in the bloody stables either. Do you want to come out? Oh, I left you in because I thought you might want to eat your breakfast in peace. There you go, you can come out now. These lot love coming out. Come on in, how'd you come? Come out for a wonder. Come out for a wonder. See the boys are getting on really well now, aren't you? Oh, I'm so happy because I really didn't like him, him, uh, Mr Magoo. Being on his own, I didn't like it. So, but they're all together now. They come out as soon as I move out of the way. So anyway, we've got our trim around here. So we're going to go and trim this bit. I need to trim this bit first. I need to do this bit. So let's have a look at you lot. How are you doing? Are you right? You okay? You right? When Simon gets better, I want him to help me move this arc. We're going to put it outside on the lawn. And then we'll make sure we shut it up at night so they can't get attacked. But I think about time that these two had a change of scenery. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. I wonder if they could mix back with them. I wonder if he would get on with him now. Oh, 
Yeah, he nearly killed him last time now, so I don't know if I want to take that chance to tell you the truth. That's the reason why they're separated. I gave him a girly, but the reason why he's in there is because of the uh, attacking each other. I can't cope with it. Anyway, let's get on and see how much swimming we can do. Oh, it's a beautiful day, look. We actually have sun. We actually have warmth. Oh, let's go and see the, um, the tadpoles. Oh, but they're out now. They're really late, aren't they? They should have their legs on by now. I was talking to my friend. She was the one that gave us the frog spawn yesterday. And she said that they normally have their legs on by now. So they're really late because the weather has been so cold. So it's making everything behind. Let's have a look, see if we can see any tadpoles having a sunbathe today. I'm sure they're out. Where are they? Where are you all? Oh, we've got something. What the hell is that? What's that there? Just spotted something there, swimming about. I don't know what it was. Oh, what was that? There's so many snails in here. I wonder if they were in the frog spawn, um, in the, yeah, in the frog spawn that I got from, from Carol. I wonder if she's got loads of tadpoles. There's something swimming in there. What is it? Can you see it? There's something big. What is that? What's that big thing down there? Oh, it's disappeared. I just saw it. Oh, Christ, look at that great big thing. Whoa, there's some kind of big beetle thing there. Can you see it? I hope you can see it, because I can't see it through here, through the lens, but I can see it with my eyes. Wow, there's something big there. That's big. Wow. Oh, the things are quite still today. Let's have a look over here. Uh, yeah, the boatman. I can't see the little tadpoles. Oh, yeah, here's some. Here's some. Here, look. See them? I hope you can see them. There's quite a few tadpoles there. Not that many. Oh, they're all under here. They're hiding. <laughs> yeah, when I lifted one of these pots. Oh, look, that's coming out. That's the lobelia, the red lobelia. Which I think is that plant there. This one, this one, that's what that is. Cardin, yeah, Lobelia, look. That goes in there. <laughs> I don't know how come, I must have put the wrong label in the wrong pot. <sighs> don't want to, look, I moved the water, the pot a little bit and there's loads of tadpoles under there. I did just see something big swimming around. I need to push that in a bit better. Oh God, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, there's loads of tadpoles under these little pots down this area. Yeah, there's Lily. Lily. Oh. oh, there's another leaf coming up on the lily. That's good news. Good news. Um, teasels are looking amazing. Look at them. Uh, what else? What else can we see? I love looking at the ponds. I absolutely love ponds. I always wanted a pond when I was a kid. I used to live in a flat, so you can't have a pond in a flat. But I always wanted one. When we moved here, I said, Simon, I really want a pond. A pond and a hot tub are the two things that I really want. These have already flowered now, so these are quite an early plant. They come in the spring, them ones. Look at all them snails. There are millions of them. Wow. Oh my God. There are millions of snails in there. Yeah. Can't see any, um, any things down this end. They were down this end. There's loads of things in there though. So much pond life can't believe it just make a little pond even if it's in a bowl I've got a bowl pond around the other side which doesn't seem to have anything in it 
I just nearly backed up onto a great big log. Anyway, I'm going to sit here for a couple of minutes and just look. All right, there's some tadpoles there. I don't know what they're doing. There's one. They're so small. Don't seem to be growing. Anyway, that's it. I will let you know what I'm going to do. It's not too hot. I could cope, I think. I just want to strim over there a bit. And, oh, I had to do around that other caravan. Yeah, I might do some. Anyway, I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and just admire the beautiful view and admire where I'm living today. Oh, and look up there. I don't know if you know what those are, but I do. Oh, wonderful. Anyway, this minute anyway. is weed this bit of garden over here because I have taken off my shoes, my boots that I'm always wearing, my welly boots. So I've decided to ground my feet, ground myself to the earth for a little while and weed this bed instead of doing strimming right now. So I can kneel down and weed this. There's a nice breeze. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to weed this one as well and get these weeds out because I put a load of um, seeds in there. So hopefully they will turn into flowers. But I'm going to start off my seeds indoors. Uh, you know I bought a load of wildflower seeds. Oh, a load of mixture of seeds the other day. Well, I want to bring them out here. But I'm going to let them grow on a bit. So if, if these don't grow, half of these flowers that I put in here, I'm going to put the ones in that I've got indoors. That tree's all right now. Remember I told you the other day it got bashed yeah, it really got bashed, but it's all right now. I sort of healed it in a bit better. But look at these. These are so beautiful. Absolutely love this plant. I still don't know what it is. I need to do the lens thing so I know what it is. But look at that. Oh my God, I thought it was borage, but it's not borage. But I love it, whatever it is. Look. And the borage does look rather nice, doesn't it? So we need to get some stuff in these beds. How are our potatoes doing? Go watch where I'm walking. Uh, yeah, we've got some potatoes coming up there. Yeah, they're really late this year. Really, really, really late. And there, but I don't know if any more are coming up in there. Anyway, we sowed some. We put some potatoes in the ground around the other side, so just in case these don't grow. But yeah, weather has not been happy this year. We haven't had very good weather so far. So today I'm lavishing up this beautiful weather and these beautiful borage flowers. Not borage, comfrey. Look, wow. You can make comfrey tea with those. I do have stinging nettle tea and you can make comfrey tea. I need to find out what this is. So I'm gonna take a photo and see if I can lens it. So the other day I tried to do it and I need to go indoors to be on the internet to see what it is. Okay. Weed in this bed. I really didn't know it was so late. It's quarter to three. I did not know it was quarter to three. I need to go and get our dinner out. We're having, um, we're having seafood today. So I'm doing like uh, prawns and um, salmon and like a seafood uh, with our own salad. That's what we're having for dinner today. But oh, we Anyway, I just decided to weed this bed. So that's what I've been doing. I'm going to have to get the wheelbarrow because this is really heavy now. So probably that took me, oh well, three quarters an hour or so. But I thought I'd weed that bed because then it's ready to put a load of flowers in. There are a few asparagus, they're really hard to see at the moment, but I did manage to find four or five. I swear I put loads in, but um, they might still come up. i done it really lightly surface uh, digging with the fork. I tried not to disturb the soil too much. And as I came across a worm, I kept covering it up with soil because I don't want them to dehydrate in this weather and I don't want the birds to come over and eat them because... Uh, I try to disturb, that's why this is called a no-dig garden, because I try and disturb the soil as little as possible, and the only time I really want to disturb it is when I need to put something in there, or when I'm creating a new bed. So I don't really want to, like, have loads of, um, you know, I don't want to disturb it too much, so I just take off the surface 
grass and what have you and just put it in the bucket anyway i've done that now so the strawberries coming on really well over here since i've weeded them a lot of plants they don't like other weeds around them they don't like it like in here with this garlic i'm going to have to go in here and take all them tufts of grass out because it's very very weedy so we need to do that and we might need to water them if it doesn't rain but we'll see how they go the onions are looking all right now over here uh, some of them have got weeds up against them. We might have to do that. I can't actually see a thing on my camera, by the way, because uh, the lens is like, you can't see it in the sun. It's really weird. Look at these. I think they actually might need watering, some of these. God, that's amazing. So I might water this later, especially near the edge. Anyone going to put me boots on and I'm going to have to go in and get some dinner and then come back out once I've had dinner. And then spend the rest of the evening outside and then i'll do some trimming but i still need to do the trimming i wanted to weed that little bed there's not much weeds in there but i still need to weed it to make sure that um the seedlings the seeds that are in there don't get swamped out by weeds so i will do that and then i'll do trimming and i might uncover the garlic there and take all that grass out yeah okay again. it's about 20 past six and the sun is just up there now, come right round the polytunnel. Uh, I just want to, um, oh, look at that poor little flower there. Oh, I just want to um, do a few seeds before the day is ended today. I have, I've done quite a lot of, uh, I've done some, um, I haven't actually done any strumming, done some, um, weeding around the other side then i went in and made dinner washed up then i sat and fell asleep and now i've just decided to come out back out for a little while so i've just come back out and i'm going to sow the seeds that i'm going to do because otherwise if i don't do them now it's going to take a lot longer um to do it if you know what i mean oh i might not be putting it on film though because as I've just looked, I've only got 15% battery. So I will just sow the seeds and then I'll show you afterwards. Okay, Bye. just doing. I've got the hiccups right now. I don't know why. Anyway, I've sown some Allison California poppies, night scented stock, two lots because I want to use all them old seeds up. The busy lizzies, then in the box at the back are uh, an assortment of wild, not wild flowers, uh, for the truck for attracting wildlife not wild flowers they're not wild flowers there's forget me nos cosmos dahlias and something else forget me nots cosmos dahlias californian poppies so they're not wild flowers they're um to attract wildlife <laughs> big difference sorry i've got the hiccup Anyway, I'm just going to turn the camera around and say goodbye. I'm probably not going to do any streaming today. I'll see how I feel when I go around the other side. But it is quite quite late. It's about ten past seven. Look at those. Sorry, just getting distracted by the beauty and the guard in, in here. But anyway, so I've sowed some seeds. So I'm really pleased with what I've done today. And I've done some weeding. And I've watered, watered everything in the polytunnel this morning. Uh, probably water again in the morning. I've got to go shopping tomorrow. I haven't been shopping since Simon has been laid up um, because I did do an Asda order but um, I need to go shopping. I really need to go and get some chicken food and some dog food. So I need to go out tomorrow so I don't know what time I'll be doing a video but I will be doing one but when I come back. Anyway just turn, turn the camera I around. think I've had enough. I think I've done a lot of work yesterday because I've done a lot of um, house cleaning yesterday. I've done a lot and washing and all that and a ton of washing up I did yesterday. So I'm quite tired today. So I think I'll call it a day, not kill myself. So I'm going to go and put the... I'm um, going to go and uh, put all the stuff away that I had in the garden yes, uh, earlier today. And then I will see you in the next video. It'll be whenever, when, when this one's loaded. It'll be in the next one, okay? So thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And how is your garden getting on? 
and thank you for watching i'll see you again soon in the next video bye for now bye